So I have to say that as a child and uh, as an adolescent, I'm completely oblivious in many ways to my talent. And what I do have to think is the, the school system and the individual uh, professors that, we, that I had. Um, I remember being in a Citrus Grove Elementary in Miami, that's where we went. And we had a professor uh, who was a quad, quadriplegic and he taught us about reading, right? And it's the first introduction to reading out loud as a group. And it was my introduction to A Wrinkle in Time and to Toho and all these stuff. And so it is, it's also the introduction to the language as well. And it's done through these classes in which we all, as the class, read out loud for a period of time. And, and my also becoming kind of hooked on literature in that way without really being aware that this is something that I myself could do. Um, meanwhile, I'm always being placed in art classes and doing art related events and things within the school. And I remember there's a very specific situation that happened when I was in junior high and we were having a debate and the debate was on abortion. It was if it was legal or, or, or was it a legal thing to do or not. And I remember at that early point in my in time being one of the few students that stood up for the right uh, for women to be to have abortions, even if it meant going against the the, the popular belief um, in, in terms of. Of, of Christianity and that that's you know it, it's, it's a sin and it's you're, you're you're taking a life and all of that and so it's one of the first moments in time that I realized that I a, have a very specific ideology and belief system that separates itself from the group and that I'm willing to take that risk to to do that right um, and and to to prove my point it it wasn't that I didn't believe in God of course I believed in God. Uh, but I understood that it was more significant for a person to have, a, and especially for a woman, to have control of her body. And so for an adolescent to be making all these kind of uh, understanding, right, and to be willing to, to go up against a group when at that time where peer pressure is almost really significant, I think made me aware that somehow there was something different about me, right? Um, and the decision happens that I'm actually placed in like creative writing, right? And in art classes from early on from junior high all the way to, you know, high school. So by the time I'm in high school, you know, we form an art club, we go to hospitals and do murals on walls. And, and I'm in really embedded within the creative community. And it's the beginning of my sort of seeing myself as a creative uh, individual.